I'm going to give my spiders a nice little blue bottle fly for a treat and I'm going to show you how I do it. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, then click the subscribe button so you don't miss any free content. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover some um, extra feeding tips for your jumping spiders. Now this video is aimed towards uh, people that keep jumping spiders that live in the UK. If you live outside the UK, you might have to do a little bit of a Google search to find an alternative for this service. Anyway, as I've stated before, sometimes you can go down to a fishing shop, buy some maggots, turn them into casters, hatch yourself some blue bottles and you can feed your spiders. Now I like to give blue bottles to my spiders as a treat. But sometimes I can't get hold of the maggots, either the fishing shop is closed. There's also a little bit of a discussion going on on some spider sites where whether coloured maggots make good flies for feeding to your spiders. I found a nice little website called Worms Direct. On there I can order about a hundred uh, live casters that will develop into blue bottles. And I like to do this as a treat. Now they are um, $2.99 with free postage. It's first class postage, so I always receive my cash the, the day after I order it. So long as I order before 12 o'clock, of course. Now we'll just open this up now. And there is our, our casters. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take these casters and put them into a separate container. Uh, before anyone comments, I'm not buying a separate fridge just for maggots, okay? If I have a separate fridge or a mini fridge in this room, my vodka's going in it. There ain't no maggots going in it. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do there. I'll simply just take that bag and put it into there. Now these casters um, generally take one or two days to hatch. So I will take these casters and I'll put those into the fridge. But before I do that, I have a separate container which I will take out two casters per spider. So I have five spiders, so I need ten casters. I will take that out. So I have my spiders here. They love their flies. Um, sometimes they turn down hoppers now from the local pet store because they do prefer their great, uh, blue bottle flies. You can also get green bottle flies if you wish to, they're slightly smaller. All depends on the size of your spider. And a general rule of thumb that I like to use is I don't give my spider anything that's larger than the spider or can bite back. The blue bottles are absolutely a great choice for jumping spiders. So now these 10 lucky winners here, they're going to get placed underneath my monitor there. And because I'm always at my monitor working or playing games, I don't know if you've checked out my gaming channel, okay. I can see if they start hatching. So once the blue bottles start to hatch, you'll see them coming out of their uh, casters. I will place them into the fridge. This will cool down the flies and slow their progress down. This makes it a lot easier to feed the spiders. Now, a great way to do this is as they're hatching is to place the caster into the cage. If you miss the opportunity, because it only takes 10 to 30 minutes for them to hatch, if you miss the opportunity, because they're cold, they will not very easily fly away from you. You'll be able to pick them up and put them into your spider enclosure. As you can see, the spiders absolutely love these casters. So that's my um, treats and 10 lucky winners for my spiders. And um, sometimes the spider likes the fly so much, they will turn their nose up at anything else you give to them. Now, um, Bungie, my first jumper, he wouldn't eat anything but blue bottles. He would actually wait for a blue bottle he wouldn't even eat hoppers that you can get from the local pet shop but that's it anyway that's wormsdirect.co.uk again there's a link in the description to their website if you do want to go and order casters like i say they come the day afterwards they're all they're literally ready to hatch when you receive them they are great in emergencies they're great to give your spider a nice little treat and general rule of thumb is i like to give my spider one or two a week okay well, that's it for this video. My name is Stuart Wood. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. Click subscribe, smash that like button, give me a comment down below, and as always, I'll see you on the next video.